if I knew the front camera was this good, I would have done the first video with this. I just want to say in the beginning that if you suffered from sexual abuse or self-harm, this book and this review might be troubling to you. Today we're going to talk about The Little Life by Hanya Yanagaha. Today we're going to talk about The Little Life by Yan... What's his name? Hanya Yanagihara. I hope I'm saying that right. As you can see, the book was shortlisted for Man Booker Prize in 2015. And today we're going to review it by, you know, just... <coughs> you want to actually review it? Okay. Why is my mouse pad so crusty? Mm, crusty and gray. Originally, A Little Life is sold to us as the story of four friends. Malcolm, JB, Willem and Jude. An actor, a painter, a lawyer and an architect. At the same time, it's about so much more. The book, as I said, was shortlisted for the Man Booker Prize in 2015 and then Bailey's Prize in 2016 and that usually is reserved for really good books of high quality. In total, the book sold over a million copies and it received praise from critics all around. It's one of the most popular books I'm gonna talk about in here and I didn't like it. I hated it. But I hated it. Oh God, I hated it. Hated it. <laughs> I hated it. Let me explain why. In A Little Life, we have basically one main character He's well built, he's rounded, he's intriguing, but we just see him suffering over and over again. And that's the entire action of the book. He just suffers. I think you're fat. Yeah. That's it's it. just my opinion. <laughs> I'm not bullying you. I'm just giving you a bit. I think you're ugly. I think you're fat. I think you're stupid. We see him suffer and then suffer and then suffer some more. And it doesn't go away. It doesn't change. It doesn't. The story does not develop. I was gonna make a whole fucking video, right? I was like, you know, taking snips day by day, like here's my journey through this book. I thought it was gonna be a little sad. I thought it was gonna be a little sad. I still have 200 fucking more pages to go and I don't know if I can do it. There are not enough trigger warnings in the world to encompass what the fuck goes on in here. Don't read it, don't read it. After a few chapters of dealing with other characters like Malcolm, who are characters that are episodic at best and not very convincing, uh, we return to the main character. There is no progression in the story, there is no major change or break in the narrative line, only 700 pages of suffering, uh, different ways in which you can suffer. Our suffering ends when the beast is sated! Sexual abuse, self-hate, loneliness, self-harm, again and again, that's all we get. And that might be fascinating for some, but I did not find it fascinating at all. I did not find it even entertaining in any way whatsoever. All A Little Life does is lock the reader in this repeating cycle of suffering and self-hate, uh, both of which are totally avoidable and barely explained. This is even more ironic if you notice that the book is in some places labeled as a Bildungsroman, which is a coming-of-age book, which should show a development of a character. Well, it doesn't. There is no coming-of-age. The book is simply about someone who is deeply troubled, uh, has a lot of problems, and refuses to go to therapy, refuses to deal with those problems. This book has LGBT characters. I think it would be nice to read about them without connecting them necessarily to so much suffering and even pedophilia. Uh, but the book doesn't do that. And I can see how that can be a harmful perception created by this book in part. And then you have a little bit of lazy writing to go around. That's just lazy writing. Suicidal tendencies disappear overnight. Yes! I am cured! Feelings are developed overnight as well, and this just comes after chapters and chapters of non-interrupted, linear suffering. A Little Life is listed as trauma porn on Goodreads, and I can really see why. Porn. Grandma porn. <laughs> People seem to either love this book or really hate it, and I have to side with the second group. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's not for me. I don't know who is it for. It's not for me. I cannot recommend this book to you by any means. Hey, who the 
fuck said this was a good book? Who the fuck said this was who the fuck said this was good? <laughs>